This video lecture is going to be for advertising for your small business. Presented for entrepreneurship at Gateway Technical College. First thing we need to discuss is looking at the topic of setting a budget. Many business owners make mistakes with controlling their costs. Uh, they end up doing what we call the seat of your pants uh, advertising where, oh, we'll place an ad here, uh, we'll do an ad there, we'll do something on the, on the internet here, but it's not a cohesive plan. And that creates two uh, problems. It creates a fundamental problem in regards to sustaining a campaign and also creates a problem of controlling the budget and even larger than that of identifying a return on your investment. And the return on investment is essential for A, are you getting the money out of your advertisements? And B, which ones work for us and which ones don't? Which creates, uh, being able to identify that gives us strength in terms of our long-term uh, planning on our budget. And so our best approach is to set spending limits on an annual basis and stay within those limits. And so that's why when you do the business plan, we break it down month by month by month by month. And that's why a lot of times when people will put, hey, I want to spend $200 every month for the whole year, With that type of budgeting, you open yourself up to have some problems if, you're, if you really don't have those dollar amounts tied in. And so we want to make sure that also that we can identify our markets and that we can spread our, our advertising budget throughout specific parts of our market. And the biggest challenge we have from a small business perspective is we really don't have a lot of money to dedicate and put into this idea of advertising. And so we have to look at this, how much money do we spend? The first thing we need to look at is what type of goal are we trying to accomplish? What do we want the advertising to accomplish for us? I'm not saying that we would totally base our decision based on what our competition is spending, but we also want to ensure that we are aware of what our competition is spending in advertising. And we want to be able to identify how effective their advertising is being. We want to make sure that uh, we are selective on the markets and tools that we are using. And that selection is successful because we're able to we need to be able to research and identify which tools we think are going to be most effective for us. Generally, if you're rolling out a new product or you're starting a new business, you are generally going to spend more uh, money initially to get off the ground. Uh, another red flag that, that throws up when I'm looking at business plans is if you're spending the same amount month one of operation that you plan on spending in a month 12 of operation. As a new business, if you expect to have sales, and you're going to have an advertising budget. You need to spend promotion in the beginning to get your name out there. It's, it's just reality. And so we look at what are the four levels of advertising. And what we mean by four levels of advertising is who are you gearing your advertising towards? And so we look at your existing customers. 40 to 50% of your budget should be spent on your existing customers. Or what we also, you know, that's really for most businesses what we consider our primary market. Then you're going to take your serious prospects, people that may not be customers, but uh, they would definitely be considered hot leads for us. We want to we want to put that market at 25% of our budget. It's going to be geared to the, towards those people. Um, and that, that easily to easily define as our secondary market, our casual pro prospects. They're not quite customers yet. Um, they may not be serious prospects, but they do fill under, fall under a market that we might be looking for. That might even fall under what we might have called a tertiary or third level market. We want to give 15 to 20% of our budget to our casual prospects. And then we want to take the rest of our market and identify 5 to 20% of our budget, uh, total advertising budget, to the rest of our market. When we're designing the advertisements, uh, there's a lot of mistakes that small businesses make. 
one of the areas uh, of concern small business owners do do is they have this this feeling that they should be the ones doing all the work. And so a lot of times we don't allocate enough funds for being able to design advertisements. I always say you, you pay someone to do something that they specialize in. And do not be afraid to pay someone good money to design your logo. Don't be afraid to pay somebody to design a brochure for you. You may think you know how to use a computer. And you may even have the software packages available to you. Uh, but it goes back to what are people's skill sets? How successful are they at what they do? And how much time you have to manage those pieces? And so uh, a lot of mistakes are made in the designing of advertisements. Uh, the amount of time that's needed to plan an effective advertisement usually isn't looked at. Uh, most, most small businesses have a limited advertising budget. And because of that, we want to make sure that our advertisements are designed with care and a, a set of due diligence. We talk about different questions that we should be answering. Number one, what are the uh, benefits of the product? What is it that our product does that sets, it, sets itself apart? And so when we look at all these, these questions we're going to be answering, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be in every single flyer or brochure that we're going to be sending out. We want to make sure that we're able to clearly identify what are the benefits of our product or our company. Can we clearly identify who's going to be buying or purchasing this product? The reason why I want to make sure that we clearly define that is when we're evaluating types of advertising that we're using and what we're designing advertisements for, that there's a clear market for us to match up to. How will your target audience respond to this ad? What do you want them to respond to this ad from? Do you want them to take action? Do you want to inform them? What, what response are you, are you trying to elicit from your market? what type of payments are you going to be able to, are you accepting and so if you're really asking them to take action you want to make sure you identify that how much ad copy are you going to have is it going to be long uh, in text or is it going to be short in text and you know this is when we start looking at what the ad copy you want is going to say when you look at taking a promotion class and looking at what makes a good print ad, you know, we go back to this idea of white space. And we don't want necessarily, unless we're doing advertorial, we don't necessarily want a lot of paragraph information. And so how efficiently can we present information to the customer? How will you create urgency to buy? What is it that you're going to be able to do and how quickly... Are you going to be able to get urgency from your potential customers to make a purchase? Are you going to use testimonials? If so, where are you going to get these testimonials from? What's your competitive advantage? How, how is your product different from your competitors? Can prospects afford your product? Is there a discount for multiple purchases? Is the product for business, consumer, or is it a dual use? Uh, product where it could be used for both. How can a consumer order or buy? Again, we're not going to put this in every single advertisement, but we should have a document that we create that lays this all out. So when we are getting ready to do a specific advertisement, we have all the information that we need. We're not necessarily reinventing the wheel all the time. Are there any accessories that are available for this product or service? Where are we selling this thing? Um, Is this business a local business? Is it a regional business? Or is it, a, is it going to be something that we're going to be nationwide with? Uh, again, getting back to his payment options and looking at what headline do we need to have on this uh, advertisement that's going to draw the best attention. We talk about key issues for advertisements. Does your headline catch the reader's attention? 
does your advertisement have wow factor? And what I mean by wow factor is, is it going to set up itself where people are going to stop at that advertisement to read or to find the information that they're looking for? When we talk about ad placement, ad placement's essential. Especially when we're talking about print media, where is this ad going to be placed? Uh, if you're doing online advertising, what type of frequency are you going to be getting? Are you being charged by click-through rate? Or are you being charged by number of impressions? Generally, your click-through rate you're going to be charged more for than you are going to be just a base um, impression ad. And then, what type of advertisement is this going to be? Is this going to be more of an advertorial, where it looks like a, an actual article? Or is this going to gear it along more of a traditional advertisement? When we talk about evaluating competitors' advertisements, first we need to make sure that um, we know the placement of our competitors. Where are they placing ads? What media outlets are they running their ads in? Uh, who's seeing those ads? And so the next thing you do is once you evaluate those ads, what market are your competitors going for? What target market are they going for? Um, do you really then identify the frequency of the ad placement? How often are they running advertisements? And then breaking down what traditional media is your competitor using versus what non-traditional media are they using? Um, are they using billboard ads? Are they using television? Are they doing radio? What is their mix, uh, their promotional mix? And how, how do you rate the effectiveness of your competitor's advertisement? Now just because your competitors are doing a billboard doesn't necessarily mean you should do a billboard. You want to make able sure that you're, you can look at, okay, this is what they're doing, this is what I think is effective for them, and maybe they're doing some things that aren't effective. 